Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for being beautifully you. No matter what scars that you have that have, that have came on you within your past, embrace them with uh, a beautiful outlook. Um, and knowing those are the things that are that are going to make you stronger so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so or even a fellow impact are going through some trying times and need validation or confirmation towards their journey and uh, while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on the social Social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support it is so greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video <laughs> and today um, meditation music I'm listening to very beautiful is called 528 Hertz of music for the soul positive energy or a boost like music for tranquility and vibrancy and I will post that link on the description box below. And today my video uh, is about Twin Flame 101, healing your relationships between you and your TF. Um, you know, we're all going through stuff with uh, our lives, you know, trying to get through. And, you know, I know a lot of y'all, you know, if, you, if you're with your, your Twin Flame, much love to y'all. And also the people that are on the verge of going towards their union, God bless and hope the loving energy will connect. Um, it, it can be trying at times, you know, it, it, it's just like being able to, um, you know, when the, uh, let me see what I'm going to say. Yes. When the in insecurity issues come up, you know, about certain things, you know, um, being able to embrace those in insecurities, being able to help yourself heal on all different levels because you know what you're doing is the same thing as your twin is doing be able to cut out the insecurities being able to know you know if this is your twin flame that you're working towards and working hard on yourself is being able to say you know I can find happiness within myself without having to get it from my twin flame even though your twin flame is there supporting you you have to be able to find that happiness within yourself and they're doing the same thing being able to love yourself in all aspects nobody is perfect so you know that relationship might be perfect for you but nobody is perfect you, you're you know you're perfectly flawed beautifully flawed you know um, dealing with different situations like you can't compare the relationship this relationship with your TF with other ones that has been in your life you know because all those have brought you to this point of you getting towards your TF you know and I look at all my situations and it's like with my dad is totally different because you know he's he's passed on so it's like we're spiritually connected but for me to get through whatever I need to get through you know I have to heal on all aspects of my life being able to let go of the the past being able to heal with the things that has hurt, hurt me mentally emotionally sexually spiritually whatever being able to bring up high vibrations between those situations and knowing you know even you hear your your twin flame um, giving you emotional support spiritual support metaphysically being able to you know wonder what am I gonna have to do to get towards that physical union what do I need to do towards myself to aim towards that spiritual union you have to be able to let go and surrender everything that you thought was will be you know so you have to you know you can't go up in this relationship thinking about all these crazy you know situations or you know trying to mold your your twin flame into being what you want them to be so it's just like you know they have whatever you like in they they have and vice versa so being able to heal in all those different places and know that you know you're working hard to get towards that physical union being able to connect in so many different ways it's like 
basically you can't sit in a wallow of pity, you know, of, oh, you know, I'm not in that connection yet, and I'm trying to figure out why, you know, you have, that's when you have to work on yourself and allow you, to, you know, you have to tell yourself every day, looking in that mirror, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do to get towards this physical union. I'm going to heal my life and work on the things that I need to work on that secures myself to get towards this connection, allowing me to embrace myself and love myself at all aspects of my life. Being able to find happiness within myself without the need of getting it from my, my TF. Being able to heal on all, you know, all those vibrations that, you know, you're trying so desperately to do. Um, being able to heal those ways, you know, it is, it's been a learning experience for me. You know, um, being able to, you know, I hear my dad at times, you know, when I'm sad, he comes and supports me. You know, he's like, I really want you to be happy. You know, I feel him rubbing my back and giving me comfort all the time. And that is such a beautiful thing to me. Obviously, <laughs> that signaled him because when I went like that, and then the next thing you know, the lights flashed. Um, it was a beautiful situation. You know, I really needed that yesterday because it was like his anniversary. So it was like I bawled. I cried. You know, I, I telling people I would never wish this on my worst enemy to go through anything like this. But I had to snap out of it. I, you know, I slept on it, you know, and then I had to get up and just tell myself, you know, everything happens for a reason. And these are like, there's some things you just won't have the answer to. But that is no need for you to stop living, stop going. You know, there's happiness, bliss out there. You know, you just have to be able to find it within yourself first for you to be able to attract that towards you. So it's just like, you know, that separation anxiety can really get to, you know, your your TF. Cause especially if you're wanting, you know, that, that oneness. You know, even though we are as one, but have that physical oneness. You know, um, even if you're together, you're working, you know, sometimes we can clash with our twin flames at times. You know, they're... You know, there's stressful situations that will leave you bickering at times, you know, like, Ugh, why are they not doing this? Why are they not doing that? Or, you know, whatever. But it's like if you are in a relationship and you are already in that connection, you have to make sure that it's secure, knowing that you're going to support them as they support you. You know, especially during stressful situations, you know, we all handle stress different ways. So we have to be, you know, uh, comprehending that or just... You know, I forgot. Every time I think about that word, I, I forget about it. It's like a, the tip of my tongue. But compromising, that's what I meant. Compromising throughout your relationship. You know, knowing that you can talk through anything. You know, the situations you were in your toxic relationships from your past, you should have learned the things from your past that the do's and don'ts and you know the lessons that hold between those you know those toxic relationships or your past relationships on things what not to do and what to do being able to you know embrace all those things in your life knowing that you're willing to work for that if you know this relationship is important to you you're willing to do that and it's just like it's a blessing for me you know because my dad will come and support me and I'm just like dad I, I appreciate it but I really got to heal on my own you know and it's a lot I know the universe is like testing me on that and it's just like before you know when he first first passed I, I mean I was like in rare form as they say <laughs> you know I was like about to lose my mind so it was like every five minutes I was calling for my dad and wanting him to make me feel better but it was just like you know okay he's there but you know he's going through some situations as himself you know so he put that aside not you know and I felt bad because I felt selfish for doing that and now it's just like when I feel myself feeling bad or whatever I snap out of it you know even though he's there to you know give me these little weird faces or say something funny I'm like oh you know I'll be crying I'm like that's not funny you know he's like he needs you to snap out of it I don't want you to be sad so you have to go through all these different situations and be able to know you know if you really want this you know your you know your relationship to be able to manifest all these beautiful things between you and your twin flame those are so many things we got to work on for that you got a long way to go you know but when you're on that situation you'll know things are going to get closer and get better because you'll start paying attention to the signs and synchronicities and things are drawing you towards that and you know just being able to heal in all those aspects you know knowing you know you can't mold yourself out to think this is what they want or you can't mold them to think this is what you want you have to be able to you know accept what is and let go of what was being able to get into that connection and know that you you know you two are going to work on all these situations to 
make your relationship, you know, be healthy, you know, um, because a lot of us has been through some toxic relationships where, you know, insecurities got in the way, trust, communication got in the way. You have to be able to communicate, trust, you know, um, being able to see what is is what is. But being able to analyze all that and being able to say, you know what, okay, you know, I want this this connection to come forth. What are the things that I need to work on? What are the things I got to pay attention to? What are the things I have to see in myself that was so hard for me to actually bring to light before? Being able to set oneself is for everything, you know? So those are the things you really need to work on. You know, I say I work on mine each and every day. You know, nobody's perfect, you know, um, but... There's good days and there's bad days, but you always got to try to find good in every day. You know, I have to keep telling myself that. So it's just like when you're going on this, embrace the things that you need to embrace. Pay attention to the things that, you know, that brings you into that low frequency or just brings that dark cloud over your head. Being able to heal from those things, being able to recognize all those things and love you as much love as you're putting towards your twin flame, you have to put that towards yourself as well. And I have to learn that too in the long run. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. You know, bless you and your twin and bless your journey as long, far as you got to go. And I hope and pray for miracles of, you know, union for you. So much love. Go ahead and give me your feedback towards this this video is greatly appreciated. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media, wherever you see fit. And um, share, share, share. My post notification comes out to Lauren Harrison and Greg Holzer. Much love to you. Many blessings. Sending love and light. Know that you are truly blessed. Highly favored. Forever love. And know there's always somebody out there, you know, praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And pray that better days are coming for you. So I will see you on the next video. I hope you had a blessed, safe Easter and a prosperous week. So talk to you in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.